so in this section I'm going to show you how you can create a campaign email campaign for your offer so the way that we do that we, we have a section called marketing we go to the campaigns and it brings off all the campaigns that we have go ahead we click on a create campaign by the way if you have an Aweber it's fine you can find an Aweber link inside the description or at the top I'll put the link to the video that I've done for Aweber and how you can create a campaign for your offer inside the Aweber so inside the create campaign I'm just gonna name it uh, my speech uh, actually I think it was like text or uh, speech hello speech hello offer and I'm just gonna go hit save and the campaign comes up so here's my campaign as, as you can see it is in draft mode now what you can do is basically go ahead and click on add event the, as you can see the tons of different things that you can do you can send an SMS you can send a Facebook messenger you can call the person you can do a voicemail webhooks tons of stuff uh, for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go ahead and click on email now here we can actually either pick a template or start typing our email and as you can see you have a really nice view of how this email is going to look like on a mobile device so let's say our first email would be thanks for uh, subscribing and here we can say hey and we can put grab the user's first name actually contacts first name so whoever sign up with the first name hey thank you for showing interest in our product my name is Siavash and I'm a YouTube creator I really like using Spichello product it helps me to create my videos faster or whatever if you would if you'd like to know more please check the app out here and then what you can do you can actually put a link or there's another thing that we have called trigger links in here that is amazing I'll, I'll may, maybe do another tutorial about what a trigger links is in there so you can actually put your affiliate link right now in here so this is your special affiliate link make sure that you check change that to your actual link you click OK and this becomes a hyperlink and cheers signature and then you say save you can actually give it a custom time as well now what you can do you can say okay as soon as someone sign up immediately send them this thank you way you can go ahead and you can add a wait and say after one day doesn't matter all the days and you can change this uh choose a time i'll say like let's send them at 11 a.m save wait set on 11 a.m then I add an event, I'll put an, another email and say, for example, did you check my last email? And then pretty much, hey, I'm just putting stuff here. I was wondering if you, if you had a chance to check my last email if not make sure that you check this amazing product and then you can hyperlink it again whatever and then save so this as you can as you can see this will continue and go up go up Another thing that you can do, like for example, if you don't want to put this type of weight, you can say, okay, I want the next events, let's say an email. Uh, let's just put something in here. I'm not gonna waste time. 
filling this up. I don't want to say, okay, I want this to go after two days. So once this one sends out, it waits two days and then this one goes out. And as you can see, you can just set this up the way that you want. Then also we have a campaign configuration. So let's say once your welcome campaign, let's say this is your welcome campaign. When it's finished, you want to send them to a different campaign. Then you can say, okay, after it's complete, complete go to the different campaign. You can also give them a price, how much this lead uh, actually value is. So this is not something that you will figure out uh, when you're starting fresh, this is kind of a long-term value of the customer. So after you had like a couple of customers, you can uh, figure out, okay, what is the long-term uh, value of this specific customer? So if they buy like something that is like uh, at the front sell, it's like 30 bucks, maybe you have some upsells and you kind of figure out, okay, each customer, maybe the value for each of those customers is like around 50 bucks for you. Cause if they uh, like, let's say out of 10 customers, it's like, two of them go all the way in by the upsells and stuff then it basically negates the other people that only buy for example the first product you can also add tags to them as soon as they uh, get to this campaign they're gonna get tagged you can also have stop on response so it means that if someone replies to you on any of these emails it's gonna stop the campaign usually want to turn that off you hit save and once it's done you make sure that you make it published so that was how you can actually create a campaign.